Happy Friday, beloveds, or whatever day you're watching this. You know, when I speak of worship in Unitarian Universalist circles, sometimes there's a little discomfort. People may bristle at the idea that we worship maybe in a particular theological way. But when I use the word worship, I'm really taking it back to its origin to consider what is of worth. And at Beacon, that can be everything from considering sources of inspiration from the world's religions to many different expressions of spirituality, our annual sex Sunday where we talk about sexual orientation, gender identity and sexuality as a healthy part of ourselves. It can be our animal blessing where we celebrate all of those companions and family members of a different species. And it can be those Sunday services where we take on some of the most complicated political issues, understanding that the political is personal and the pastoral is prophetic. It also means like this coming Sunday that I'm very excited for, rites of passage for our fifth graders who will be sharing on a single principle that they feel drawn to as Unitarian Universalists. I know our annual coming of age service with our ninth graders that we are getting ready for in the spring is another highlight where we consider of worth, where we consider the worthiness of our youth and the wisdom that they have to share. This holiday season, worship can really be a way in which we pull away from the commercialism and the frenzy of the holidays and take this time as a time of centering, as a time of clarifying, also as a time of refocusing ourselves, considering what is of worth. This coming Saturday, we're going to have our annual Raising of the Greens. And a lot of folks have asked me, what the heck is a Raising of the Greens? Well, it's a unique service to Beacon where we literally deck the hall. We bring up garlands and adorn the sanctuary. We share a meal and a story that is woven through a shortened circle worship. We also have coming up this year, our first ever winter solstice service that's gonna be held at 695. There are so many ways, including of course, our Christmas Eve service or Christmas day or New Year's day in the coming month to really think about what holidays you want to honor, what worth you wanna bring into this time and how you'll keep the light burning. I hope that you feel that light this day and certainly until we meet again for worship.